Hello everyone, this is Garvanomics. I wanted to make this video in response to some recent news from Aduro Clean Technologies, uh, which is a company developing a new plastic recycling process. And the company has some other recycling verticals as well, uh, but the primary focus is on plastics. Now if you want to see a full video I made uh, you know, as an introduction to the company, I'll have a link to that in the video description below. Uh, but this news we're going to be going over is such a massive development that the market simply is not valuing correctly at the moment, in my opinion. Yeah, Duro is up uh, around another 8% today as I make this video, uh, but the stock is not up very much, all things considered. Uh, but before we get started, uh, full disclosure, I, I am a shareholder of the company, and I do plan on buying more uh, over the next couple months at the very least. So what is this news about? Uh, so Duro has announced that they've been partnering with Shell, um, and this is a list here basically ranking uh, companies on plastic waste produced, uh, but Shell is within the top 50 uh, plastic producers globally. Uh, you can see Shell's number 51 on this list and produces 1 million tons of plastic in total, which is the second number from the left. Uh, now Shell also has the goal of recycling 1 million tons of plastic waste by 2025. Uh, so they want to recycle as much plastic as they produce, basically. And they're looking for the best technology to do this. So Duro has partnered with Shell in the company's Game Changer program. Uh, now why is this such a big deal? So some of the largest issues that Duro was facing with their technology was you know, scaling that tech up to a commercial size uh, and how they were going to fund their upcoming pilot plants to validate their recycling process. Um, not necessarily a huge problem, but something that they were going to have to work through. Uh, and both those questions were just solved. So additionally, uh, this is a major validation for the process of Duro's developed as well. You know, do you think Shell's going to be teaming up with any random company to try and solve a problem on such a grand scale as plastic recycling? Yeah, definitely not. Um, Shell's likely been in talks with Duro for quite some time, you know, inspecting the chemistry behind Duro's technology uh, and seeing if the process has potential. You know, this really isn't just some shot in the dark, uh, and Shell has seen what Aduro has to offer, uh, and not only do they like what they see, but you know, they want to expedite the development process. Uh, we'll get into that more in a minute. Uh, but first, what is Shell Game Changer? You know, what's the program about? Uh, Game Changer is a program at Shell that basically works with startups and businesses in the early development stage, you know, primary focus being on companies that will impact the future of energy markets. And Aduro fits that bill as you know, being able to recycle plastics can bring in additional revenue streams to Shell, uh, but it'll also help in a push to net zero. You know, more recycling, less energy usage in the recycling process, uh, and other synergies with Aduro's technology lead to fewer emissions uh, and a more environmentally friendly product. So one portion of the excitement around this announcement was about funding. Uh, Aduro needs around $5 million or so to complete their final pilot plant, uh, R3. Uh, part of that funding is going to be coming from a grant that the company received uh, for around $1 million from the National Sciences and Engineering Research Council uh, and the MIDEX Accelerate Grant Programs in uh, Canada. You know, this partnership doesn't seem to fund the existing work that Aduro is doing. Um, Shell will have their own project with Aduro. And they will be financing the whole project with Aduro over six phases, um, with each payment occurring as each phase's objectives are met. Uh, the project is set to take around 12 months in total. So, you know, at this point, um, we're looking at very little, if any, dilution required moving forward for the existing shareholders, uh, although there still might be some necessary dilution to fund uh, the completion of R3 pilot plants uh, for plastic particularly. Um, as a process with Shell is a separate work item. But the second portion of what was so exciting about this partnership with Shell, uh, and the most exciting part in my opinion, uh, is that Shell will be helping Aduro in the commercialization of its technology, you know, with expertise from the team at Game Changer, uh, as well as the designing of the project itself. You know, the validation process with Shell uh, is being specifically formed to foster a commercial success, you know, as well as uh, reducing developmental risk with the technology. Uh, and even better, you know, the announcement came before Aduro had even proved its technology further with uh, the completion of its R2 plastics plant, you know, which would have proved some scalability to uh, a few tons a day. 
and that pilot plant set to be complete in the next few weeks, as the company's assumption was uh, completion in mid-November. Um, kind of the point of this is that these are all very good signs for Duro, and that Shell has confidence in what they've uh, completed so far, you know, even more than investors originally assumed. Everyone that has seen content on Enduro previously knows that the company has often been compared to Cielo Waste Solutions, uh, which is a competitor who is at one point valued at over a billion dollars in market cap. You know, the difference between Cielo and Enduro was that Cielo was having issues with its technology and scaling to a larger size. You know, with Shell helping Enduro scale its technology, uh, the possibility of this being an issue has been diminished significantly. And the heights and valuation that Cielo got to, you know, over a billion dollars, speaks to the upside of Aduro if its solution for plastic recycling actually does work uh, and does manage to scale to, you know, industrial levels. And we're currently trading at a $40 million market cap right now, uh, which is the same as Cielo, and they've uh, currently failed. So, um, as discussed earlier, uh, Shell's looking to recycle, yeah, you know, 1 million tons of plastic waste annually by 2025. Um, so let's kind of bring this all together with some numbers here. You know, it stands to reason that Shell would likely do you know, at least most of the recycling with Aduro if the technology is proven to scale properly. Um, so let's think about what that means for the company. You know, on the far right, uh, we have the company's estimates for a 225 ton per day recycling plant, uh, which translate to around 76,000 tons per year. You know, assuming Aduro licenses out the technology to Shell to operate the recycling plants, uh, recycling 1 million tons would equate to around $900 million in revenue for Shell uh, and around $180 million in revenue for Duro uh, for simply licensing out their technology to Shell. And like I said, the current market cap is only $40 million. Um, so this is absolute insanity. Yeah, you know, that's going to be extremely high margin revenue as well uh, because this is just a licensing model. You know, Duro wouldn't actually be building or maintaining the uh, plastics plants in these scenarios. And these numbers are just from working with one company. You know, once they bring in more clients as well, you know, these numbers really begin to explode. Uh, you can see the potential for how high this company could go. Uh, but overall, you know, this really is a massive de-risking event for Aduro, uh, and the market really is not responding in kind. You know, this is potentially a multi-billion dollar company in the making. Uh, and we're currently trading around $40 million. Uh, I really can't emphasize this enough. I mean, this is this is absolutely insane. Yeah, I'll be buying as many shares as possible over the coming months you know, as the market kind of wakes up to what's going on here. Uh, kind of looking like it's starting to turn around here uh, as we're trading up 8% today. Uh, but if it does take longer, you know, the longer it takes, the more shares I'll end up buying. But yeah, that is going to be the end of the video here. Uh, if you liked it or found it useful, uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.